Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be covering three questions and especially this is specific to civil engineering. So all the non-civilized people out there, this is not for you, so you don't need to watch this video. So the three questions I'll be covering in this video is, number one, what is the best university to study civil engineering in the UK? What is the best course to choose for civil engineering? And what are the job prospects after completion of your studies in the UK? So stay tuned in. Okay, folks, uh, one of the uh, very big questions, I mean, that generally come from yourself is, uh, what is the best university to study in the UK, especially for civil engineers? Uh, so I'm gonna share my experience. Uh, I personally studied uh, my MSc uh, from the Salford University, and uh, which have really, uh, not the best, one of the best in the UK, but yeah, very low uh, ranking, I should say. But the reason I went for Salford University was because uh, I looked at their modules and uh, that suits my future. Actually, that's that's what intrigued me to go for Salford University. That was the only reason why I have chosen Salford University for myself. And down the line, when it came to the uh, job prospects, it never been mentioned ne neither by the employer, neither by anyone else. Where did I did my masters from? So it doesn't matter what, what university you choose. This is the advice I generally give to you guys. Uh, make sure you look at the modules. I mean, if the modules are of your interest, uh, so it doesn't matter what university you go for, that is the best for yourself. And generally, I do say, if you can save some money, uh, you can go for the cheapest. And if they provide you yeah, the best content for yourselves, that is the best university. So don't look at the ranking at all. It doesn't matter yeah, what, what ranking they are in, as long as they are providing your course content, that is the best university to go for. The question number two that comes from yourself is about the uh, which is the best subject in civil engineering from job perspective. So there are various uh, subjects that you can go into the civil engineering. Uh, that could be structural engineering, construction project management, highways and transportation. Uh, there could be uh, sustainability. There's there's lots of big lists there. But uh, as for yeah, the best is concerned, uh, they're all the best because they are civil engineering courses. Uh, I'm, I'm biased towards civil engineering because personally I've been in the UK and I've been working for the past 15 16 years in the industry so I know how much demand it is in the UK about the civil engineering so doesn't matter which one you choose make sure that is your choice where you see yourself in the future as well so choose the one that bats your future that that best suits your future that is the best for yourself so it doesn't matter whether uh, you're gonna go for structure engineering or transportation engineering or railway engineering so they all source the best basically from job perspective so make sure you go for your choice uh, so don't ask anyone else just look at yourself yeah where you see yourself in the future that is the best course so the third question and the for most important question uh, after completion of your studies, whether you're gonna get a job or not. Uh, so I generally say to the students uh, that their jobs are in abundance in, in the civil engineering industry, uh, but it doesn't mean that when you complete your degree, you're gonna sit at your home and the job is gonna knock at your door. So that won't be the case for sure. Uh, there are potential your jobs available and they're, they're in huge numbers as well. And recently I've shared an article about the uh, request requirements and the job opportunities in the UK. It says that 417,000 uh, engineers are required by the 2025 and that's an, on average uh, 55,000 engineers are required in the UK I mean to fulfill the demand in the UK industry and uh, that's that's what I generally say there's a huge demand for civil engineers so as long uh, you know your subject well you know your soft skills you know your hard skills as long you know you you have a good competency you have a good skills so the jobs are in abundance and uh, there's no issue about you not gonna get the job as long you fulfill the, those requirements the jobs are there and 
from personal experience uh, I've been working for the past 15 years and I never been a jobless in the UK so I can guarantee that uh, as long you fulfill the requirements of the employer uh, the jobs are there in abundance and you definitely is gonna get a job there uh, as long you fulfill the skills and the, the competency you have the skills the competency and you fulfill the employer's requirements so the job is going to be there and finally if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you press that subscribe button to ensure you receive a regular such videos thank you very much